Namaskar. Hello and welcome to P Guru's channel. I'm your host Shri Ayer. You may have read recently about a human sacrifice case in Kerala. I mean, strange things happen in Kerala, but this is really, really strange. And it appears that there is more going on than meets the eye. And to know more about it, I am going to introduce to you a brand new guest. He's a very famous personality in Tamil TV. He's an author, he's a writer par excellence, and he is someone that is making his debut in our channel to the, for the first time today. Let's welcome Sri Prabhakaran. Prabhakaran ji, Namaskaram and welcome to P Guru's channel. Vanakam, it's my honor to be in, uh, appear, to appear in P Guru's channel. Sir, the pleasure is all ours. The, I'm going to ask you a simple question, sir. Please tell us. I want us to kind of go back and see what has been coming in the newspapers and then take it from there. So, to a couple, both doctors have been arrested on charges of human sacrifice. Two women, I think, were killed and a lot of things have happened. Some stories coming, some backtracking. Police has made a hash as usual. And we now have more questions than answers. Is this really a human sacrifice or was it an organ harvesting operation? Does India have its own version of Xinjiang? That is my biggest worry, sir. So please take it away. Please walk us through what has been happening. And we have a lot of doubts, you and I. We can air those doubts. Please take it away, sir. Right. See, the suspicion arises mainly because of the way in which the police leak the information to the public. See, the first incidents took place almost six to seven months before. We, we didn't hear anything about it. And the second incident happened almost 45 days before. Immediately, in a couple of days, one of the relatives of the deceased uh, woman, Patmam, lodged a complaint with the police. And it is alleged that the police went through the CCTV records and they were able to locate her, that she was going to the eatery run by one gentleman. Let's keep it as it is. But suddenly, the in last week, the whole media was agog with that information that human sacrifice has happened in uh, Kerala. Then one fringe CPM leader came on uh, TV and he said, oh, this is a continuation of the barbaric Hindu tradition. Put, uh, mark his words, barbaric Hindu traditions and rituals that is still going on even in this 21st century. And then in the evening, the culprits, the so-called uh, culprits were nabbed and their details are released by the police. And they say there is one Mr. Banzal Singh and his wife who were involved with this uh, sacrifice. The local BJP Took, took notice of these two individuals and the, particularly the husband. He happens to be a prominent branch leader in Kochi as well as Patan Ditta, and he has participated in many protests by organized by CPM. He himself has been a cheerleader for the CPM, organizing protests, agitation, melas, rallies, and he has boasted about it in his Facebook pages. So the BJP collected all this information and they cornered CPM saying, this is one of your own cadre. He is not a stray, uh, stray Hindu or a degenerated Hindu. He is a psychopathic communist comrade. And then the local Kochi CPM spokesperson has the audacity to come on TV and say, after all these ghastly things, that this gentleman, Banzal Singh, he is still a noble man. He, is, he could not have been the uh, mastermind. It was his wife who must have instigated him. So all these things does not add up. See, when, when, when somebody does a heinous crime like murder, any party would like to dissociate themselves with him. Here, why are they trying to cover up Banzal? And why are they trying to shield him? So this is the first question. And the second question is, are they really doctors? Why did the police say, and now the news comes up, they are not 
MBBS doctors, they are just uh, one media report says they are physiotherapists. Another media says they are just massage uh, 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 specialists. But the police, in their press release, they say it, they were doctors. Second point, look at the way the press release given by the police. They say there could have been a human sacrifice, but there is no hard evidence against it. There could have been some cannibalism, but there is no hard evidence. If there is no hard evidence, why should police mention that at all? Police are supposed to say what they have found out or they should simply say that we are yet to investigate. This is what we know at this stage. They didn't do. They wanted to continue the story of human sacrifice only to divert the attention and put some blame on, throw mud on Hinduism and its uh, so-called tantric practices. On the third day, a question arose. Okay, if there was a human sacrifice, the Bali, Nara Bali, there must be a deity to which this Bali was offered and there must be a somebody a priest-like fellow who should have done these rituals. Only then slowly the name creeps up that his name was Muhammad Shafi and he is a Muslim. This is the biggest <laughs> Harry Potter story I've ever read. Yes. Islam doesn't have this sort of uh, practices and it strongly condemns. Maybe in India there are a couple of black magicians who say the, the, there is a concept called a jinn in uh, the Islamic traditions, but nowhere we have heard of uh, Narab Ali. Okay, what is the antecedents of this person? This Muhammad Shafi. He is a serial jailbird, serial offender. There are ten cases against him currently. There were previously there were some cases which are before which he was convicted and released. Currently there are two rape cases, two murder cases, and he has a couple of uh, assault theft. Such a man is released on bail on February 2021 by NRI Vijayan's government. Why did they release him? And surprisingly, there was no conditions attached for his bail that he should come to the police station and sign every day or every once in a week. Nothing was attached. And he starts his own eatery, a roadside eatery. And he floats a Facebook page to lure women. Tell me, would anybody, because it's a small area, it's not a big city that you do not know each other, would anybody with the same mind or even a degenerated mind believe a fellow who is just on bail and who is known to be a serial offender and a psychopath to be a tantric? Will you believe, will anybody believe him and then go to this extreme case of offering a human sacrifice? I don't think so. So, with and secondly, the chopping of this body parts into six pieces. We have not heard of it in any Narabali incident. First of all, we have not heard about Narabali. Even in the stories, mythical story, the story says that you have to cut it into the Puranic story only nine pieces. Only then the gods' nine uh, deities will be propitiated. Here, where is the need to chop them into 56 pieces? So, this is a cover story under which there is a massive hidden conspiracy. So I allege, I do not have strong evidences, but these dots, the information given by the police doesn't add up. So, the only way the dots get connected is to bring in an hypothesis that says that these people were lured to harvest their organs. Maybe they were running organs because of a kidney transplant, liver transplant. These are all high price games. And uh, if it goes to, uh, if it is for a foreigner, it runs to a couple of million dollars. And there is a possibility, possible, mind my words, there is a possibility. It may have been used for some jihadi purposes also. There are some people who may need uh, immediate critical medical attention for which they cannot go to a regular hospital. So there, there were must, there could have been a clandestine network which does this. So this is the hypothesis under which 
or based on which the police should investigate but unfortunately the police the pinar under pinaraya vijayan's rule come up with all cock and bull stories and to make us believe that this is a offense committed under temporary insanity which is a very clear case of trying to protect the culprits now you can ask your question mr yeah the first question that comes to my mind uh, prabhakaran ji is that this male person was also called vaidyan which means a doctor by the locals he is not a see now the news comes today that he is not a qualified mbbs doctor the police said he, merely doctors one section of the media calls them to be physiotherapists another section because i got this information from my friends in kerala there is another section calls them to calls them as massage experts because next to the place where this horrendous incident happened there is a massage parlor maybe these people were involved in that also they are they could be running the massage parlor too now um the next question that i have prabhakaran ji is if somebody were to do organ transplant and let's take it scientifically you really need a state of the art lab like a icu where you need to have oxygen and artificial lung perhaps or uh, you know something to keep the thing going there must be a state of the art have they discovered something like that in this vicinity sir so so far they have not discovered and they will not discover because police wants to bury such a detail and they don't want this detail to come out because organ transplant it has to be done in a very short span maybe 10 to 12 hours and the organs have to be preserved in certain cryogenic temperatures and it cannot be taken far away so there may have, must have been clandestine hospitals or icu operating under the very noses of the police department you must you must be aware of the whatsapp group within the kerala police department known as the pachai vilakku uh, which is i don't have to explain that so yes, yes, green certain, come come again green light yeah green light so you know what it means so this is a whatsapp group run by 856 in which the members or 856 police officers who had harbor anti national uh, sentiments and they were actively helping anti national elements so i am not surprised if tomorrow if the central agencies pick up this issue. yeah it, it is a fit case for the central agencies to pick up this issue In fact this case was also doc- talked about in my previous hangout with Sri Rajesh Pillai where he talked about the same green light whatsapp group and the number he mentioned was 873 so there is a you know 800 plus yeah so um this this is one other problem um prabhakaran ji in that he also mentioned that when the NIA came to swoop up the PFI activists slash leaders the slash people who are going to do job they did so using crpf help they did not take the state police's help the state police was un- informed only 1 hour before so 4 am the the scoop happened 4 to 3 am they were notified so that they would not you know try to create some mob this is a known thing kerala police has allowed information to leak to some inimical elements to the country who will come and start gerowing the person who is about to be apprehended my the book behind me it talks about all these things and this is at least 3 years old now the book so what i'm trying to say is this is a clear cut danger kerala has become people always say this has become the new kashmir and i don't know what home ministry is going to do this is a real real problem i hope that the agencies such as the national investigative agency and the cbi uh, central bureau of investigation takes a look at this this is not an isolated incident from what it appears to be so please this is a matter of much much importance which is why we did this recording and please let us know what your thoughts are viewers please send in your comments also like share and subscribe to our channel and don't forget to click on the bell button for notifications namaskar